Hello guys and welcome to your 28th Java tutorial in which we will be learning about escape sequences. Now this is actually going to be a quite a brief tutorial. Uh, nonetheless, you know, escape sequences are essential in programming and you know, you'll definitely see them a lot uh, if you code with some friends. Uh, so, uh, let's get started. So escape sequences are pretty much ways that you can put uh, characters in your text. Uh, say, you know, very strange characters, you know, like Mandarin Chinese, well, of a foreign language really, or you can put the yen sign in. Uh, but you know, uh, besides actually doing that, the escape sequences actually let you just put in plain quotes in. So, without you know having this this mess up. So it's 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 really it's interpreting these these quotes as as pretty much grouping quotes. It's grouping text in between them, and it's and it's getting a lot of kind of errors. And you'll see what I mean. Uh, as we start this tutorial. So, uh, without further ado, let's get started. How do you actually start an escape sequence? Well, you start an es escape sequence by <laughs> putting the backslash key first, which can be found underneath your backspace key. Uh, and after this backslash key, it's pretty much, uh, you need to put a certain character to represent an escape sequence. So say I can put slash n, I think I've used this before, uh, to represent a new line. Uh, so if I have slash n and hello, written like so, and I hit OK, uh, it has a new line before the hello. And I should probably keep them together to avoid a space uh, at the beginning of the hello. So there we go. Uh, oh, that was one down. And there's also slash T, well, or tab key pretty much. Uh, that's, that's five spaces, I believe, five or six, I'm not too sure. And all that does puts a certain amount of spaces before your text. All right, simple enough, simple enough. and how do you actually represent quotes without you know that that grouping error mess up thing you know well uh it's actually quite simple all we do if if we want to say you know make something like this bob said hey guys what's up you know some 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 stuff like that man she's talking weird all right uh and without you know to avoid this little grouping error here and just let get these quotes represented uh simply as you know uh, text quotes, you just put a backslash before them, and they are interpreted simply as uh, as quotes, as text quotes, and none of this grouping relates to them. Uh, so if we click the play button, we get everything working as expected. Bob said, hey guys, what's up with the quotes? Alright, now uh, that actually works with single quotes too, because you know grouping actually relates to single quotes as well. And let's just test that out. Bam, Bob said, hey, in single quotes, hey guys, what's up? And you might also be wondering how to display uh, simply a backslash key, because I mean, if, if we just put backslash is a character, uh, it's going to give us an error, because it's, it's expecting a, you know, a, key, uh, a letter after the backslash, because it's thinking it's a certain escape sequence. And uh, how we actually just represent a pure backslash uh, escape a backslash in text we just put backslash backslash and that will simply display backslash as a character in text once again uh, and uh, lastly but not leastly of course this is actually probably the biggest use of escape sequences uh, you can put slash u and after that you have four numbers uh, those four numbers are a certain unicode unicode number and what Unicode can be used for is pretty much just displaying a lot of really cool characters, characters that you can't find on your regular keyboard. Uh, and every single you know Unicode character has this little code. And if you put that code here, it's going to take this entire thing and inter interpret it as that character. Uh, and how we actually find these codes for the characters is by going onto this site, Unicode.org unicode.org slash charts and I think that's simple enough for me not to have to put that in the description I uh, just type that in your URL you type that URL in your browser and uh, you'll get this nice little page here you can pretty much uh, go from anything you know to you know Greek Greek letters to Armenian ligatures it's it's pretty cool stuff well, uh, and as you can see you have a character and you have this little letter number code below it and you know uh, that you can put in where I showed you previously in your Java text slash u in this these four characters. Unfortunately, some of these do not work or are not supported by the Java escape sequences. Uh, so I'll just use a few I know that work. So say uh, in these, these other symbols, you know, we can click yen pound cent, 
type symbols. We see a ton of these, and uh, let's, let's just try the copyright symbol, which is has a code of 00A9. Uh, if we put that right here, right here, right here, Barney. All right, 00A9 slash U, and don't forget that end quote there. You hit the play button, and bam, you got a cheeseburger. All right. No, I'm not kidding, you don't get a cheeseburger, but you do get a very nice copyright symbol here. Uh, so we can, we can, you know, make some official stuff, you know, like copyright 2012, company name. Alright, there we go. That looks pretty official. And if we hit the play button, we'll see our new updated company. That we, of course, own. That, that made us millionaires, you know. Very, very nice. And let's try another one, just, you know, just for the, the sake of entertainment. Let's try this one. This one's pretty freaking cool, I think. You know, zero zero a seven. I think yeah, yeah right. All right, o o a seven is the number. Zero seven. Hit the play button and bam, it worked. We get this freaking cool character, I think, uh, in front of the two thousand twelve, and you know, yeah. So definitely, you can play around with you know, different Unicode characters. Because there's just so many of them, and you know the possibilities are endless, really, with what you can do with these. So, uh, nonetheless, thank you guys for watching this tutorial, and I promise to have something a bit more, you know, significant for you guys next time. Uh, nonetheless, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next tutorial.